So Peter and his friend goes to Washington DC as it's the closest location to get to the bad guys. Before Peter can leave after removing the tracker, right, his friend brought up really something new about the suit. There's a ton of other subsystems in here. Treating wheels protocol. <laughs> Turn it off. After disabling the training wheels protocol, Peter heads out and tries to stop the bad guys. But before he could do that, however, he's greeted by a new voice. Good evening, Peter. Hello? Hello? Congratulations on completing the rigorous training wheels protocol and gaining access to your suit's full capabilities. Ah, thank you. Before okay, Peter can manage to finally stop happening. the bad guys, however, things get really combat? awkward no, with that training mode? wheels protocol. Yeah. Activating instant kill. No, 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 no. I don't want to kill anybody. I'm so amazed the bad guys didn't catch Spider Man and kill him yet. But then Batman shows up again. I, I mean, Fulcher. Hey, Big Bird! This doesn't belong to you! Peter tries to fight, but things aren't going too well with his web shooters. Set everything back to normal! Thanks to the mishap, Peter gets knocked out, and later he wakes up to find that he's in some kind of vault. I kinda feel bad calling you suit lady, you know? You can call me Karen if you would like. So Peter tries out the suit's capabilities, unfunny jokes happen, and then we find out that, that the glowy thing, thing that Peter and his friend has been holding, it's basically a bomb. Whoa, 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 you mean we've been carrying around a bomb? It would require- Now that didn't happen, he just escapes the vault and tries to head back to his friend as fast as possible. I have to talk to Ned, it's really important. I won't lie, this part is actually pretty hilarious. But uh oh. Thankfully, Peter manages to make it. After one intense action scene, he manages to save them. This is your chance, Peter. Kiss her. Are you really friends with Peter Parker? Okay, that was pretty good. So blah blah blah, that is going on. Peter was about to escape school but gets detention. Parker, we all know what's right. We all know what's wrong. Next time those turkeys try to convince you of something that you know is wrong. Hey, where you going? Get back here. For the record, in real life, teachers are not as incompetent as he is. Okay, what? No, 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 but hey, no, more unfunny, no, awkward no, no, jokes. No, it is I, Thor, son of Odin. No, 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 no. That's definitely no. That's definitely not what you want to watch. Just your impressions are very funny. Fast it's not. Would you like me to activate the enhanced interrogation protocol? Uh, yeah. Remember me? Uh, hey, hey, I need information. You can give it to me now. Sorry, it's chill. Come man. on. What happened to your voice? What do you mean? What happened to my voice? I really don't know about this. It's awkward, but funny at the same time. But I digress. He gets the information that the bad guys are on the boat, so he heads over there. Hey guys, the illegal weapons deal ferry was at 10:30. You missed it. This is actually a pretty cool action scene. But why the hell didn't Spider-Man just throw the gun into the water? That well. An accident happens, but Tony Stark manages to get there in time to save everyone on the boat, especially Spider-Man. And then we have some scolding. Tony takes away the suit, but will that stop our hero from getting his date? I guess you already have a date to homecoming. Actually, I'm so busy planning and I never really got around to that part, so... Now, of course it doesn't. Batman? He must be Peter. Yeah. Unless his dad. What the fuck are the odds? On the way to the homecoming party, however, Andrew and Toombs puts the pieces together that Peter is Spider-Man. But since Peter saved Liz's life, Adrian decides to let Peter live, as long as he doesn't get in the way of the robbery. <laughs> but Peter decides to go after Adrian immediately and grabs his costume from 
under the lockers, which I still don't even know how that works. And Spider-Man gets punched by the shocker, even though he has a motherfucking spider just to avoid it. This movie doesn't even bother with the spider sense at all. Even though it's been a part of his power since the beginning. And he clearly has it in Civil War. That's just lazy writing. Ah, whatever. Nice that saves Peter, and, that and Peter that. heads off to try and so, stop Adrian. Flash, I need your car on your phone. Skip that. Uh, I'm looking at porn. With that line, I am surprised this movie isn't R-rated. Whatever, Peter confronts Adrian, but Adrian traps Peter under a building. But Peter uses all of his strength to get out under the rubble and tries to stop Adrian once and for all. Just a typical homecoming on the outside of an invisible jet. Fighting my girlfriend's dad. And this is why I don't get dates. After one hell of an awesome action scene, Peter finally stops Adrian once and for all, and this may be the only Spider-Man film where the main villain doesn't die in the end. Thank you. M my friends call me MJ. That's not Mary Jane, by the way. It's more of Michelle Jones. Google it. You'll understand. Hey, Happy. What, uh, what are you doing here? I really owe you one. I don't know what I would do without this job. I mean, before I met Tony. Okay, this is a funny scene and all, but shouldn't Happy be checking under to see if anybody's there? Well, bloggers. since Peter did the when impossible, Tony brings Peter back and one. offers him to become an Avenger, even a cool new costume. But surprisingly, Peter decides not to take it. Gosh darn it, why didn't he accept? That costume looked pretty cool. Ah well. Peter goes back home and he gets his costume back from Tony Stark. And we end what's probably the funniest joke in the Italian movie. What the f I mean, you would expect Aunt May to like ask what is up and or gasp in shock. But her saying WTF? I did not expect that. That's what made it funny. But sadly, it doesn't excuse the fact that this is probably the worst post credit scene ever. There's no build-up, there's no hype, nothing. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, this movie, Thor Ragnarok, all these post credit scenes are pointless. I think 2017's the worst year for post credits Well, like I said before, I don't think this movie is as good as the other Spider-Man movies at all. It does have funny jokes and fun action scenes, but some of it is just unbearable and awkward as hell, and some things in this movie is just not funny. I mean, I'm glad I saw it and I don't mind watching it once in a while, but this movie could have been a hell of a lot better. But at the very least, Spider-Man's a part of this Marvel Cinematic Universe. And he wears that cool new costume in Infinity War. What else can go wrong? Oh.